I know it's a little bit hard this time of uh, the day, like 11 o'clock for our South European friends mostly, but I think we can handle this. So please uh, take your seats, uh, we're about to start our presentation. And uh, in order to warm a little bit, uh, we're just going to present you the viral of our project. It's a short video of three minutes. While well, you're having your first sip of uh, coffee or tea. <coughs> Imagine a block of apartments with all necessary housing facilities granted to homeless families. Imagine open libraries and public spaces all over the city. Imagine a network of products and services like gold and salt, like chains instead. Imagine trust from Islam transform into beautiful musical instruments. Are you imagining another world? Well, this world might have seen and it might be closer than you think. Do you want to be part of it? Do you want to discover, link and share resources? that are alternative to the existing crisis system, you're welcome to enter the DOME project. An interactive cross-cultural network of alternatives and commons in the fields of society, politics, economy, education, arts and culture, environment, media and technology. Join us and share your own thoughts, tools and actions to the chain of social chains and sustainable living. So that was uh, the idea behind the Dawn project. And uh, Actually, I would like now to introduce you my two fellows from Spain. This is a joint collaboration between Greece and Spain, Dolce Moreno, who is our web developer and creative mind, along with Miriam Planas, the three of us conceptualized the idea of the Dome project you're about to uh, watch. So, <coughs> a little bit of background, just uh, to give you a briefing on how things started. Well, the Dome Project is actually um, an initiative that uh, was uh, conceived during the first Cultural Innovators Network. Um, this is an initiative uh, by the Geta Institute. Um, um, they decided to bring together kind of, uh, let's say, more than 100 creative uh, young thinkers across uh, the Mediterranean and to put us together in order to um, collaborate and uh, initiate some cross-cultural initiatives. So the Dome Project uh, has been one of them. As you might have already uh, understood, it's initiated as a reflection um, as a spontaneous reflection to the different aspects of crisis, uh, either financial or environmental, humanitarian or cultural overall, that individuals, groups or nations undergo. 
So uh, we are experiencing uh, the deprivation of fundamental human rights, uh, the scarcity of natural resources, the progressive collapse of uh, national economies, and uh, this was uh, the bad side of the story. But of course, at the same time, we are very aware that there are small hubs of transformation uh, that exist across the world. We witness uh, new or uh, reinvented forms of uh, social and political organizational structures, new forms of engagement and commitment, and um, we think that we could bring these ideas and these initiatives together to make them visible, to link them, and to let them flourish and multiply. So uh, this is why we were actually inspired by the notion of the dome. The dome is a structure that uh, is conceived as a pattern of interrelated nodes that are interconnected with each other. So what they produce is a protected matrix, a kind of shelter for these ideas to be, um, let's say, um, accepted, to grow, to disseminate, and to gain uh, ground. So with this in mind, we came up with the idea to develop an interactive cross-cultural network of sustainable resources uh, that would be kind of alternative to the existing crisis system as we experience this. So um, we would like to bring forward the idea of social transformation and uh, through the values of active participation, social engagement, uh, awareness and uh, ethical coexistence along with solidarity and mutual support. So practically uh, we created a platform, an online network that functions not only as a wiki type uh, database resource, I mean that you can not only access the database and browse for what's interesting to you, but actually um, you can have a say, you can be a dynamic part of this platform. Uh, so we're not talking here about a cartography of already existing initiatives, because there are many of them, and it's good that there are so many initiatives um, across the region, especially uh, we're very aware that in Greece and Spain there are many like-minded platforms and initiatives that take place, but maybe this is the first time that we try to create uh, a more interactive pattern for the user to be not a mere provider of information, but uh, a partner, uh, a collaborator, to be the one that would be able to upload uh, his own critical uh, thinking in the platform. So actually, um, our content, as you will see, is organized uh, either by uh, geographical levels, you can search from global to local uh, initiatives, by thematic category, we have eight basic thematic categories, as we see here, society, politics, economy, environment, media, arts and cultural technology, and education, or by the type of resource you want to browse or to add to the database. Uh, you can either browse for organizations, groups, uh, and official uh, organizations, or um, collectives, cooperatives, whatever, tools, tools like software tools, or books, or uh, URLs, or anything that could add to knowledge or actions any type of action that is corresponding with the notions of solidarity um, and um, engagement. So um, you can, first of all, search, browse our database, but uh, you would be most uh, invited to contribute, to be engaged with it. So you could add, share, or link resources and um, according to their area of influence, according to their act zone or according to their geopolitical zone, this would appear in a conceptual map. We try to avoid the depiction of real maps as they exist and as they signify borders and divisions, we do not sympathize with them. So these nodes, 
the nodes of uh, knowledge that you add to the system will connect between them and they will signify uh, relations of relevance, of similarity or of interdependence. Uh, this is the idea of a rhizomatic web ontology. Uh, this is not happening now. This is, let's say, the future aspiration of the DOM project because, uh, as my colleagues will let you know, we're still experimenting with the platform. It's a very new tool. We're still on a better version. Uh, our project has a long way to go uh, ahead. And uh, it's really um, important, this moment that we are here and we share uh, this idea with you, because actually, now that I'm thinking, uh, it's the very first public um, presentation we hold on the DOM project. Uh, we just um, presented it in the framework of the Cultural Innovators Network in Tunisia. Uh, last week, but this was uh, inside our network. I mean, people were aware of what we were doing. Now, this is the first public presentation, and we thank you for having us here. And uh, actually, it's a unique <coughs> chance to have a cross test in vivo and get your feedback because it's valuable uh, your feedback and your uh, constructive criticism on the and the idea of the platform would be um, very supportive and very important to us. And the last thing I pass uh, space to my colleagues would be to ask from you uh, uh, to join and contribute in many different ways because we can, let's say, get you involved from a minimum level of being a mere user that enters the platform and grows for content or whatever, or you can get more actively engaged and uh, join us in terms of um, working together or even in terms of uh, taking the responsibility to become what we call the local ambassador of a region or of a country. So if any of you is related to the topic, and uh, interested uh, to, uh, let's say, be the administration of a local region, like uh, we are responsible, I am responsible for Athens and the girls for Barcelona till now, uh, we could keep a closer collaboration. So that's all for me. Thank you for your attention. And you will have uh, now uh, the chance to get uh, bit of an idea on what this platform is actually about. Thank you. So now, Dorsa and me will show you uh, the, what is the platform. Uh, Martha explained you the concept, a uh, little bit of the practical issues, but now you will see how does it work for the moment. And you will have the chance to ask the questions you want about the platform. <coughs> to start. Uh, there are some instructions in the front page of how the, uh, the platform works, but now you can take a look later, we will skip it. And let's go to the menu mm -hmm. and take a look on the maps and the notes and how the initiatives are visualized, first of all. Because there's two kinds of visualization. You can, you can see the initiatives as the maps, first in a tree, where you can choose which map would you like to see. For the moment, you only can see the maps that are activated. What, what does it mean? It means that has some initiatives inside, right? The, let's go or the other kind of visualization is as a list, where you have all the maps active, activated by, by the moment. Let's go to Catalonia, Spain, maybe. It's a more area of uh, responsibility. <laughs> and then we can choose 
we can identify an initiative, so we see how is it okay. able, maybe. Which is a collective from Barcelona, which makes social video, social activism. And then you can see a description, and you can uh, upload related resources, additional material, put videos, the URL. And also, you can see the categories. Not only the eight categories that Martha explained, but also we made a uh, first uh, proposal of subcategories. Because one of the aims of the DOM is also to classificate and be able to find and relate initiatives. And for that, um, only having these eight main categories was like a little bit um, chaotic yeah, and narrow. We wanted to expand it. By the moment, we are aware that it's our categorization, but we would like to be a social construction with apportations. Here we can see the first proposal of categories. So you can choose not only these eight main categories, but also the subcategories proposed. So maybe <coughs> we are in Atalan Academy category. Atalan Ma? Um, where are we now? <laughs> we are editing a resource. Um, when you add a node, mainly, um, So the thing is, when you've seen and explored the maps mm -hmm. and the initiatives, maybe you have come up with an idea of a collective near your area or global collective that you want to act. So how can you do it? First of all, you need to register, which is quite easy. No? You only need your email and name, mm -hmm. I think. And then you can upload an initiative and you know. <coughs> You have to choose, first of all, if it's a source, something about related to knowledge, a URL, a video, a manual, anything. If it's an organization, uh, it can be self-organized, or it can be institutional, or it can be whatever, but always related to the social change that we aim to. Mm -hmm. Or you can choose an action, a campaign, something that, that is planned to be done next month, and then we do something, and we can upload the title and the original the description in English by the moment, because language is one of the challenges that we are facing now. Because first of all, English, at least in our countries where we come from, it's not so common for everybody to be used. No? It's only for some specialized, specialized people who is uh, traveling maybe and using it, but there are, it's, a, it's a challenge. Mm -hmm. So we would like also to include the original language, which by the moment is optional because uh, the platform aims to connect uh, initiatives from different countries, so by the moment <coughs> it's in English and the original language is uh, as optional. And then we can narrow the subclassification of the, the type of the subclassification. And let's say, even, should be a lot, actually. Something here. Mm -hmm. um, if we want to place it in a map, we need to choose the map. It's way too long because uh, here we need to drop it. Let's say, let's say it's in Germany by now. Thematically, what would be? Ideas, please. Okay. It would be like uh, action, subtype, event, or 
festival if we had it as a subcategory for the moment we don't have a festival and so on and so forth. I mean, apart from this uh, special um, conception of the interrelated nodes and this um, reflective ontology, um, web ontology, the other things to do and navigate inside the platform are quite simple. So, uh, so I think and a few things more. I think that we should uh, give some time to the people to have some questions first of all, because I think it's already 11.30. And uh, if not, we can proceed, otherwise we are ready to hear your questions from the comments. And how many members do you have by now? Uh, by now, um, in the creative and the conceptual and the developing uh, phase, we the three of us, uh, and uh, we have already recruited some local ambassadors um, from uh, Tunisia, from Lebanon, from Sudan, from Germany. Um, Greece and Spain are included already, and we hope to grow bigger in the near future. But it's still very early. It's again in a better version, and we ourselves experiment with our tools and with our possibilities. <laughs> Hello, where do we start? Um, this, like I said, um, initiated in December uh, 2012, like a year ago. Uh, the idea was conceived in Istanbul, where we hold our first forum, Cultural Innovators Network Forum. So what actually happened there is that we gathered together like 100 activists from the Mediterranean region and we came up with some ideas. And in, in a democratic process, we ourselves, I mean the people of the network, would vote for the ideas for the project that we would like to be implemented with an initial support uh, startup fund from the Gera Institute. So the DOM project happened to be one of these 20 initiatives that were finally funded uh, with a startup fund again, a small one, uh, to develop in the next year. So we have, uh, let's say, completed uh, officially 11 months of working on the concept from the very first idea to the development which is an ongoing. The, the fact I think is we have spent some time trying to conceptualize and to come up with the idea and this was such a complex thing because also we wanted to go further and we were talking on, on issues like uh, creating such a social platform with gaming issues or to uh, in the beginning we wanted to create it this uh, more interactive no? but uh, to work from distance and without knowing each other um, uh, before, it has been quite difficult. No? And uh, we met for two times during one week, trying to work together uh, physically, but because it's, this, it's better to work from distance. Um, at the end, we 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 began to develop the platform just uh, two months ago. So. It has been a large uh, time, but uh, at the end uh, we have done it uh, in a narrow way. Yes, it seems like large. little by little pieces are finding their places on the wider picture, but again, like I said, it's a very early phase of the project. It's, uh, it's this better version we are testing here. And uh, hopefully in some months from now we will go for the half version of the project which will be the first uh, operating platform in terms of these uh, interrelated uh, resources. How do you rate information or do you rate information that's coming in there? If someone put um, information there, is you rate it? Do you control it? Or we rate it? Ah, yeah. the system, um, we have a, a certain pattern for classifying uh, the information in terms of appropriate or inappropriate content. Mm -hmm. For this reason, we will come soon up with a manifesto 
Uh, I mean, you can already see it in the platform, but um, we don't want to, web to, let's say, continue a strict administration on the web. People know what they're doing, they're responsible for their own resources, so there is no need to be the filters of the content. From the other hand, we want to keep some safety belts validated. So this is the idea with the ambassadors uh, in terms of language, in terms of locality. We need people in every, let's say, regional hub to uh, be able to add content and to be able to administrate the content. To say that, you know, here there is an initiative that is not uh, uh, sympathizing with the notions of uh, and the values of the dome. Or this is uh, um, something that offends a certain, let's say, social group. We should uh, eliminate this from the platform. I don't know. I mean, I don't believe that such a case will ever occur. Huh. But <coughs> you never know. So you're, this you're reason, open, open yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Sorry. So um, also our our aiming in the future is to get the system to get the system that uh, uh, lets the people the the users to validate collectively uh, these initiatives. I mean, with a pointing system or evaluating system that is uh, open and, and transparent in that sense. Like couch surfing. I mean, yeah. when you trust somebody, you go for him. You kind of qualify him to become a culture. So it is a similar idea that if you trust a resource or if you want to boost it, to make it visible, you uh, actually go for it. You click it or you pin it in a way so that it becomes more visible. So this is a kind of uh, inner classification system between the network, between the users themselves. So be the people that are responsible to put information or are you responsible to protect the people that they put information there? So for example, if I'm someone that... Uh, um, do you protect the people that they are using your project? In what way do you mean? Um, do you... Um, for example, I'm from China and I put something about the government and do something there and many people are now in jail. And I have pictures, and I, if I understand it, so I can put pictures there. Um, can come the China government, Chinese government and um, control who put the information or you protect the person that put the information? Um, <laughs> we know, we, we are care about that. <laughs> we are not facing any at this time these things but uh, they, they are important uh, and on one hand we are not uh, giving the, the, the personal data or the private data to anybody we need to I mean uh, in that sense also if a user uh, uploads or wants to upload sensitive content this user should not use their uh, no, real <laughs> their name. real name or their their, their personal information not there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Okay. I mean, this is an issue that is addressed to the web itself. I mean, right. this is not something we can control, and I don't believe that we anyway like to. Um, let's say put such uh, strict measures of evaluation or of filtering. Uh, the same way the people are responsible for uh, what they put inside the platform, at the same time they take also the risk or the responsibility or the challenge to bring forward an issue that is uh, sensitive or that uh, it might jeopardize their personal um, let's say uh, anonymity or whatever, but in terms of anonymity uh, we have the option to uh, insert data without uh, having uh, you know, a visible profile. And we work in the future if yeah. possible uh, for approaching uh, better the privacy or the security in that sense. Thank you. So, um, if there are 
Any other questions? Uh, the thing is, uh, we are in our first phase of development. We want to build a, a free software project from this framework. So, um, also, um, this could allow uh, to work with other people that improves the platform and also to uh, publish and free the code for other purposes and for similar initiatives. So this could happen maybe in the future. Yeah, I think no. I think that we should pass to the next presentation. Uh, thank you so much for your attention and if you feel like uh, getting more involved, we said bring your laptops, guys, but uh, the Wi-Fi is not working. Uh, that uh, <laughs> and, I mean, not for like 20 people together. So uh, by yourselves, if you want, you can browse it and let us know something. But it will be valuable. Thank you.